Well, good morning. It is Christmas Eve here in Southern California, and I'm uh, made I made some decisions this morning <laughs> to go ahead and video something and get set try to get it set up this evening to post tomorrow to wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, what I have is what's left of the haul of the day that I was going to do for Vlogmas and didn't. And then I have two mystery boxes, mystery shipments came in and I want to get those open before tomorrow. So um, I'm just going to sit here. I've got my hot cocoa. Uh, it's the first cup of hot cocoa I've made this year. It's a pretty big cup, isn't it? Um, this is my favorite cup. It was a cheap Michael's cup that I bought years ago and it holds just the right amount of cocoa and whipped cream on top. And um, I'm using a Sprouts dark chocolate um, organic hot cocoa that they had last year. And they actually, I, I got it two years ago and I just bought one packet and loved it. And when I went back for more, they were sold out. So last year I bought two or three packets when I saw it. And I never did see it again this year. So um, it was, it's good until May of 2021. So I should be okay. But I don't like watching people slurp things on camera, so I'm not going to drink it. Uh, it's way too hot anyway because I just made it. So I'm just going to go ahead and and record this, and then I'll enjoy my cocoa. It should be just about right when I finish. So emptying the box, the haul box, um, I had... I'm, I'm not a big fan of Brenda Gervais. I have a few of her charts, um, I think. Wasn't um, Bobbing for Pumpkins one of hers? I think that's the only other one I have. But when someone did this one, um, oh, I fell in love with it. So I ordered that quite a while ago. It'll go into the stash um, for someday. But um, I didn't want to take a chance that I wouldn't be able to find it when I got the time to do it. And then I have, I should have unwrapped all these, sorry. Um, these are, this was a, Awakening is, I believe, was a, um, it's a Be Stitch Me fabric. I think this was a FN, FN that I won. I was trying to get more greens into my collection, and I was really happy to get that one. And then this was the fabric of the month for October 2020, and it's called Escape. And I am just addicted to these. I don't know how I'm going to use them, but I have now. I've collected probably 10 or 12 of these kind of out there. I call them, you know, kind of cosmic. Um, serendipitous, I would assume, fabrics that come out of their dyeing uh, that they do. Um, Gavork at... Um, Fabric Flare has so a lot of these, and I have his Hubble that he did, and I, I want just the right piece to do on that because it's so gorgeous. I'm happy with just the, just to look at the, pull the fabric out every once in a while to look at it. Um, those, that was the clipper ship. This is stuff I finished. Um, the last, um, I think that this was one I purchased because I loved these little snowmen. Um, not this month, but last month. And it, it kind of goes with the um, block of the block, bag of the month for this um, month. And I, I'm not happy with the lighting here. Let me go back one. And then this, I haven't opened. It's another to stitch me. I don't know which one it was. Again, the master plan was that I would open a present to myself every day for Vlogmas. And it didn't happen. And so I'm here and I don't think I have scissors to open this. So I'll use the utility knife this way. Scary, ain't it? Especially since here in Southern California, in my county, there are no hospital beds available. So they're saying, we want you to stay home, not only to not spread COVID, but to not hurt yourself. Because if you get injured, there's no place for you in the hospital. Too many COVID patients. And 
Um, also, um, I just I have to mention that I lost a relative, uh, not a relative, I think, an acquaintance. The husband of one of my longtime teaching colleagues died the day before yesterday of COVID. Um, and, and it does kind of smack you. She had just retired, just retired, like, what's this, December? I think she retired mid-summer before the school year started. She just decided she couldn't do a virtual classroom anymore, so I, th I assume. So anyway, it makes, brings it home and says, stay at home. I'm staying home. I'm staying away from my family. I don't want to take a chance that I'm going to infect them. I'm more concerned about my... My little grandson, who turned a week old in May, in May. This is going to be a lot tougher one than I thought. On Monday, he turned a week old. And he has a two-and-a-half-year-old brother, and anyway, no good. So this one doesn't have a name. This is another purchase from Be Stitch Me. Uh, um, I think it must have been a, a Friday night fight night. Um, although I do cuss, just cut, I just order stuff when I see it and like it. I just put in an order, and when she gets around to it, she um, dies up some more stuff when she has enough orders. This is a 16 count Aida, um, but there's no colored name on it. And then this one I ordered at the same time. This is pumpkin patch. Uh, 16 count Aida. And what else is in here? This is Guardian. I may have already shown that one. Um, I don't know. It's more yellow than it's showing there. And I don't use a lot of yellow. And that empties that box of the things that I've ordered that have been delivered. And now I get to get into the things that are mysteries to me. I got my Tokyo Kawaii Club bag um, from Michael Donahoe. And it's been sitting here waiting for me to open it. It was gonna be a Christmas, you know, I was gonna do it Christmas morning, but today's kind of actually gonna be the start of my Christmas because in a, just a few hours, my family in Japan, my son and my daughter-in-law and their two sons, who are nine and five, um, will be waking up and starting Christmas morning. So my son has set up a cocoon for the family and they're all going to, he's just going to leave it running all day so that grandma can pop in <laughs> and see what's going on Christmas Day um, in Tokyo. Oh, check this out. This is cute. So let's see what kind of towel this is. This appears to be a bath towel. Who's Mickey? Yeah, these long towels like this are actually um, bath towels in Japan. So that one's really fun. And it has this color is the color of my bathroom. This kind of peachy coral. Perfect. I don't know how you knew that. So there's that. And then here's the stuff in the bag. And what have we got going here? Oh, stand up memos. Very cute. Look how cute those are. And they're Mickey, Mickey and Friends themed. Mickey. Awesome. I like those. And what else is in here? Here is a, another Chippendale pin. Pen. Board. That help. <laughs> I guess that helps. Very cute. Nuts.
you, you, bonkers, in the nuts in the tree. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get that label off to see what it says. I can't read it. And another. There's the chip. He already, I think he already sent me the Dale. And I don't know if they're in kimono or yakata or if this is still a, because I thought one of them was kind of dressed in carp. A carp look like, look like a carp costume somehow and I thought it was a boys day thing. Look at his tail, the chipmunk tail. And on the kimono, Oh, it's a fan. This is a fan. I thought it was a label. I was trying to pull it off. Oops. And then it has um, acorns on the fabric. That's super cute. I'm going to assume this is Chip. I think if it was Celeste, it would have eyelashes. So he's being kind of winky, kind of flirty. There's a big thing down here, and I'm kind of leaving it to last. What do we have here? Well, this is a whole collection from the Disney Store Club. I don't know what that is. Of Chippendale keychains. Celeste, obviously. So there's chains down here and you can tell they have um, little places to run them through their heads. Or you can just stand them up. There's a stand here, and you can just stand them on there if you don't want to use them that way. And that is what I will probably do, is just stand them up. They're transparent, it's hard to focus. There we go. Very cute. And then, the last thing in here is a 2020 Tokyo Disneyland something. What do we guess it is? This is a tin box. So it's probably sweets. I'm going to take the tape off. Is it tape or is it going all the way? There's tape. All right. Or we can just slice it and deal with it later. How about that? It is sweets. Nice. I'm not as excited by the sweets as I am about the tin box because this is going to be a really good size for my cross stitch scissors and needles and highlighter. I think it's all going to fit in here. So that's fantastic. So that's a great bag. Thank you, Michael. It's wonderful as always. I have new neighbors next door. They have dogs. They have, according to the owner of the house, their lease was for four dogs. They have two. But she runs a, as near as I can tell, there's a um, doggy daycare going on over there. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, the barking dog is, I believe, one of their two, and um, at first they were only barking when I would go out into the side yard, which I do fairly often because um, that's, not only do I have a garden over there, but that's where my big trash cans are. So when I need to take out the trash or take out the recycling, which is a couple of times a week, I have to take something out there. They run over there and bark at me. And then, um, how, did, how did we do this? Um, and now it's to the point where just the, if they just hear me moving around in my kitchen, they stand there and bark at me. So, I don't like that. This is my December mystery box from Karen's USA Adventures Primark Pickup. 
and I have saved it for Christmas. I was going to open it Christmas morning. Um, I don't have a personal Santa. Um, I live here alone, and so I ordered the box, and the, the Tokyo Kawaii box comes every month, and so I just saved it for December to open on Christmas morning. And then this one from Karen, I also saved to open on Christmas morning, but then I have a very dear friend in Massachusetts who decided to spoil me this year, and she sent me three boxes <laughs> of wrapped Christmas gifts. So I, she turned out to be my personal Santa this year and bless her heart and so I'll get to open those up tomorrow and so I'm going to open these up now so this is Karen's USA Adventures if you are a subscriber uh, or excuse me if you bought the December box and you haven't opened it yet I'll count to five so you can leave one two three four five so it's a mystery, the December box. We hope this December box brings you lots of festive joy for the holiday season. Happy holidays from Karen. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh. There are some. <laughs> so I'm not ever going to see these packing pallets again without remembering the little... Um, Christmas ad that's been popping up again it's an older one but it's been popping up on Facebook this year with the porcupine and how all of his friends cover all of his quills with these little part pellets so that he can get a big hug. Um, we have da Cadbury Dairy Milk Little Robins. Aren't these cute? I love Cadbury. So I'll enjoy those later. And then, I don't know where to start, Karen. My goodness. Let's start here. Mm -hmm. I think it might be kind of princessy, maybe? Let's see it? No, look. Get up. South America. Greetings from Paradise Falls. Home is where the adventure is. Oh, my dear Karen, is that adorable. And it's got Russell. He's my favorite up character. Oh, my. Thank you. That is wonderful. And I use these all the time. All the time. Um... Never enough of these. Thank you, my dear. That's wonderful. What else do we have in here? Let's see. A smartphone ring holder. It's the Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie? Yeah. Mickey and Minnie. And I think I'm going to offer this up as a re-gift. Um, my my phone has a Jared Mariyama case. <laughs> I don't want to put anything on it to cover that up. So um, this will find a home, a happy home somewhere else, I'm sure. And we have Somewhere Under the Sea and Beyond Your Imagination is an Adventure in Fantasy. This is the Little Mermaid Journal. How pretty that is. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Sebastian struggling on the back. This is a beautiful journal. And I just finished redecorating my guest room in a, a mermaid and ocean theme. And I have a bunch of Little Mermaid stuff to go in there, if I can find it again. It's in a box. It's, safely packed away in a box because it took me a couple of years to get to this point but I've been wanting this journal to leave I have a desk that I'm chalk painting and I'm going to put it in that room as a designated writing place and I've said you know I really need that little mermaid journal 
in there and I think I'm going to use it as my gratitude journal and just every day um, three things I'm grateful for something like that I love it thank you that's great great choices what else is going on in here I guess I'll just work from the top down so the next thing is wrapped up nicely and safely It's a sketchbook ornament, a Buzz Lightyear, but it is really heavy. Why is it so heavy? Oh, because it does something. Get that out, turn it on. Buzz Lightyear, at your service. To infinity, and beyond. It's a secret mission in a charted space. Let's go. How cute is that? So he's going to be on the tree near the bottom so that the grandkids can play with that if they ever come over. <laughs> if we ever have a year where I can have my grandkids over to play with my Disney tree, they can make them talk. They'll really like that. Perfect. Thing in a special package. Very fancy padded envelope. It's very secure. It's very safe. Personalize this, or is this just what everybody got? Oh my goodness! It's Santa's little helpers, Chip and Dale. Oh my goodness! This has to be from France, the Disney Paris Disney, or the Disney Store in the UK has a lot of Disney Paris things. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, thank you so much. This is a, it's a total, okay, listen to me, I'm getting all choked up. What a great box. Um, yeah. And I can, I'll share now that I, I like to drink milk. And I drink milk out of these tumblers. Yeah, they, they're kind of big, but I like, I, because of my arthritis and my, um, essential tremor I don't trust myself with just a regular glass so I like to use mugs because it gives me a handle and then I like to use these tumblers like this so I see Christmas Eve milk and cookies happening here or maybe Christmas Eve little robin candies and milk <laughs> what a fun and I might have to use my my towel as a tablecloth because I, I do all my eating and right now um, in the in my office in my bedroom where my computer is excuse me with Facebook for company um, I did make progress since my last um, posting a few days ago but I didn't get all of any one thing done it's still 
I still don't have a working space. I had a, an uh, encounter with a hummingbird this morning. Um, we, we're just really dry here in Southern California. Normally by now we've had a couple, two or three gentle rains and we've had no rain at all, all fall or into the winter yet. Um, I take that back. There was one storm that went through, dumped about half an inch in, I figure maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, just whoosh, and then it was gone. So my yard is very dry. My plants are very dry. I haven't been spending time out there. I can't get a sprinkler to work, an oscillating sprinkler. I keep buying them and they, they look like they're working and I'll say, okay, good. I'm going to leave that on for a while and I'll go in the house and I'll come out. And when I come back, they've at some point they got stuck in the straight up position and nothing gets watered and it's very frustrating. Um, but it is what it is. As psychiatrists have been saying for years, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, but I went out this morning to water all my potted plants and then I'm gonna run what water I can uh, for the rest of the day and see if I can give everything a good soaking because I don't want to lose. I've invested so much in this landscape and I don't want to lose it. So I was out in my side garden and I was watering the container plants that were there and a hummingbird came up and it, I think it was just attracted to the sprinkle that was coming out of the hose and it kind of just hovered by that by the end of the nozzle for a while. It didn't, it didn't actually get near it enough to drink anything, but it just was there looking at it. And then it got up about this far from my face, about six inches, about right here. And it just hovered there and stared at me for a good five seconds. And I figured he was nagging me to go fill the feeders. <laughs> I forget, I just forget to do it. And they, they just are not flowers around here. They're not a good, a lot of good nectar things for them. 97% um, of a hummingbird's diet is small insects, so I, they're not going to starve to death because they don't have my feeder spill, but I do like them to have that extra sugar in the wintertime. So I did get that set up, and I am going to go now, and I hope it's, the, it's cool enough to fill the fig feeders, move the water, move the laundry, and get ready for a couple more hours for um, Japan to come online so that I can enjoy Christmas Eve or for them, Christmas Day. Um, so I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I think I'll see you before New Year to wish you a Happy New Year, but in case I don't, <laughs> do have a good Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Bye. I wanted to um, take a brief look at this room at, in this light. This is the light where the carpet actually is the color that I picked out. It matches this wall pretty much. Um, it's a, a hue off probably or a value off. I don't know what you, it's, it's just slightly darker, but in the morning light, it is definitely um, matches its name. It's called Concord Green. In the evening when it gets really dark in here, it um, goes more blue and so, um, and it's hard for, it's been hard for me to capture that color on camera because my camera wants to make things its own way. And um, I don't know enough about adjusting, manually adjusting color to fix that. Um, it's Christmas Eve and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn the lights on through the cycle to get where I want to be, which is here, because I like color. Um, it's been, you know, it's just been an interesting Christmas. I'm, you know, I, I spend a lot of time just standing in this room and enjoying the fact that it's finished. And even though I never got all the ornaments on the big tree, I never got any ornaments really on the little tree. It's a new tree. I should turn it on too, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've got lots of lots of color going on around me. And I really didn't put up much in the way of decorations, just what was easy and what I said, no, I did all this work, I'm going to have this in here. 
This is one of my favorite decorations. There's a story behind it that I'm not going to bore you with, but um, at least I got it out of the box and got it in the room. This is the cabinet. I'm in the process of putting the stuff back into it um, that I had to take out so that they could move it for the carpet. Um, the entry needs, I still have cleaning to do in here. So here's today's thing. I at least want to get the entry perfect. <laughs> so I have one more leftover piece of carpet to deal with. These are empty boxes here. And then I just have that little bit over there to kind of rehome. Um, I'm not even sure what's in it. There's a little stool there. That's not a big deal. That's easy. It's just that little box has flotsam in it and it needs to be rehomed. And then, let's see if I can get the, I love to do this with these remote candles because I get to pretend that I'm a wizard. So, Lumos, 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 Lumos. Here we go. <laughs> My wizarding skills aren't very good. So yeah, this is part of my Santa collection. This is the part I get out every year. The rest of it is not necessarily, um, you know, it's packed away. I don't really have a place for it. And my wall hanging that hangs crooked. The dog ate part of it. And when I went to repair it, I didn't get it put together properly. And it appears that my hooks are also not level, although they were measured to be level. Um, and now they're in, they're so tight, I don't want to take them out. But I don't, they see things straight anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, happy Christmas Eve. And ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Hmm. That's a pretty gift. I didn't know that would happen.